Have you ever wondered if cooking at home is more sustainable than eating out? In this video, we're going to explore whether or not eating more home cooked meals is actually an eco-friendly choice from ingredients to energy to food waste. Hi, my name is Christina. I am a registered dietitian, environmental educator, and the creator of the plant-based recipe and eco kitchen blog, Fork in the Road. And I truly believe that sustainable living starts in the kitchen. So I won't bury the lead here. The type of food that you eat has more of an environmental impact than how it's cooked. So you you probably already know that more planet friendly foods, which are actually typically healthier for you as well, like fruits and vegetables, lentils, beans, tofu, whole grains, nuts and seeds, those are less impactful to grow on the environment than an animal based food. Generally, eating at home is better for the environment than eating your meals out. Making food at home not only allows you to source sustainable ingredients, waste less food, and use less energy, but cooking at home, especially a diet that's rich in plant-based food means less impact on the environment. Let's get into the reasons that determine why cooking at home is actually a more eco-friendly choice than eating out in restaurants. Cooking more meals at home means that you have control over where your ingredients are coming from. You might do all of your groceries shopping at the big box store down the street, but typically a grocery store is going to tell you where your products are coming from and you can make those decisions then. When you go out to a restaurant, that's usually not the case unless you're going to a really local sustainable type restaurant that's really transparent about where they get their ingredients from. When you cook more meals at home, you have the control over where your ingredients come from. You can buy that local lettuce from the farmer down the street. You can get those dried beans from the grocery store from the bulk section and reduce your packaging waste. The point is not that you have to eat completely seasonal and 100% local, though you can do that and I can help you do that if you'd like. But the point is that you're making more informed choices. When you're at the grocery store, you're looking at where your produce is coming from. You're able to make the choice to buy a lettuce that was grown right down the street versus a lettuce that was flown from Mexico or somewhere in Central America. And when you want to use those more specialty imported ingredients, ingredients, a drizzle of olive oil from Italy or a glass of wine from South America, my personal favorite, then you can make those choices in an informed way. And that's just not something that you have the flexibility to do in most restaurants. So being able to choose your ingredients, where they're sourced from, and make decisions about the sustainability of those ingredients will help you reduce the environmental impact just by eating at home more often. The second reason why cooking at home is a more sustainable choice than eating out is because when you eat at home more often, you're able to control your food and packaging waste. So you probably know that food waste is a serious problem across the entire food system from farm to plate, whether that happens in restaurants or in your own home. Yet some parts of the food system are actually more wasteful than others. According to Food Print, about four to 10% of food that's purchased in restaurants and food service establishments is wasted before it even gets to the consumer. According to the National Resource Defense Council's report Wasted, restaurants actually produce about about two to four times the food waste than grocery stores, retail super centers, those are your Costco's and your Sam's Clubs, and wholesale grocery distribution centers combined. And while there are lots of different programs popping up for restaurants to donate any unused food at the end of the night to people actually needing it, only about two to 4% of the food that's wasted by restaurants is actually donated. So let me stop here and say this. I don't wanna paint a bad picture for restaurants. I love restaurants. I love going out to restaurants. I worked in restaurants for 20 plus years. And I want to put things in perspective because restaurants are actually not the biggest food wasters in the food system. Do you want to know who the biggest food wasters in the food system are? You and me. It's the consumers. Yes, the biggest food wasters in the food system are actually consumers like you and me. In fact, about 50% of all of the food that is wasted across the entire food system is actually wasted by consumers in the home. And that's because they are poorly planning their meals, they're overbuying, they're overpreparing, Preparing, and they're not following food labels. These are big numbers, and that's actually something that you and I can control. I want you to be honest. You probably have something in your refrigerator right now that has gone bad because you didn't plan for it and you didn't end up eating it. So how can you combat this? Meal planning. If you've watched my how to create a weekly meal planning video, which I will link up here somewhere, you will learn about my five-step process to creating a weekly meal plan, which helps you to plan your meals, save time cooking, save money, and also reduce food waste. In addition, you can download my free meal planning guide, which also includes weekly templates that you can fill in your meal plans and use as your shopping list this week. I'll leave a link for it down here in the description. So because a lot of food is 
wasted in the home, does that mean that you should eat out? No, absolutely not. You should absolutely cook more meals at home. Just make sure that you're planning those meals, you're using up those leftovers, you're reading labels, and you're storing food properly so that you're wasting less food. The third reason that cooking at home is a more sustainable choice than eating out is because your home kitchen actually uses way less energy than a restaurant kitchen. Have you ever actually given any thought to how much energy your home kitchen actually uses? Probably not. I really hadn't either until I was looking into this topic, but as you can imagine, your smaller appliances at home, your stove, a microwave, toaster oven, other appliances for cooking that we use in the home are obviously going to use less energy than the large energy intensive cooking equipment that is found in most restaurants. Now, a lot of food service establishments actually cook in bulk, which is more efficient than just cooking one meal at a time like you would in your kitchen. But these really large kitchens with these energy intensive appliances use about five times more energy per square foot than than you would in your own home kitchen. So you can feel good knowing when you're cooking at home more often and not eating out as much that you're not only reducing food waste, but you're also using less energy overall to prepare your meal. And the fourth reason that cooking at home is a more sustainable choice than eating out is that food that's cooked at home is typically more healthy for you, it's more healthy for the planet, and it's more healthy for your wallet. A 2017 study in the International Journal for Behavioral Nutrition found that people who prepare more foods at home and eat out in restaurants less often are actually healthier overall. They are less likely to be overweight and they spend less money on food overall than those who eat out in restaurants more often. So there are likely many reasons for this. Restaurant portions are usually about double what we would actually serve ourselves if we were to cook for ourselves at home. Studies have also found that when you go out to eat, you end up eating more than you would if you were at home because you're not able to gauge your level of hunger. And the foods that you find in restaurants are usually usually higher in things like fat, salt, and sugar. And all of these things contribute to overeating and leading a less healthy lifestyle. Studies have also shown that time and time again, the foods that are actually healthier for humans, things like plant-based proteins, lentils, nuts, seeds, beans, whole grains, all of these delicious plant-based foods are not only healthy for humans, but they're also healthier for the planet because they're less resource intensive to farm and get to your table, which in my opinion is a win for plant-based diet. So now that I've shared with you the four reasons why eating at home is actually a more eco-friendly choice than eating out, you might be asking yourself, does this mean that I can't eat out if I want to save the planet? To this I say no, absolutely not. You can and should still enjoy going out to eat. I love going out to restaurants. I love trying new foods. I love meeting new chefs. I love learning about new techniques. And I truly think that some of the best moments in life happen around a dinner table. And I also think that what you eat is actually more impactful than how it is cooked and where it is cooked. So that means that a plant-based meal that's eaten out at a restaurant will be less impactful on the environment and healthier for you than a high fat, high sugar, high sodium animal foods based meal that you cooked at home. However, if you'd like to reduce your impact and save a little money, making a habit of eating more meals at home can not only be healthier for you and for your wallet, but also for the planet. When you do choose to go out to restaurants, you can choose to go to ones that align with your own personal food philosophy. For me, when I do decide to go out to a restaurant, I like to search for restaurants where they are serving plant-based foods, where they have a commitment to sustainably sourcing their ingredients, and I would rather give my money to a restaurant who is not only serving food, but is also serving in the community and the planet. Where can you find a green, sustainable restaurant? I like to search them on my own, and I keep tabs of the new restaurants that that are opening in my area, but you can also go to Green Restaurant Association's Dine Green Guide, which I will link in the description here, and you can search for green restaurants that are certified in your area. So if you're committed to eating at home more often, I have some resources for you. Make sure to download my meal planning guide, linked in the description here, as well as head over to forkintheroad.co slash recipes to search plant-based recipes for every meal and every season, and make sure to like and subscribe to the channel where I come back every week and share new plant-based recipes and tips for going green in the kitchen with you.